Most of the people visiting Porto are here for the famous cuisine and the picturesque cityscape. But some visitors are here for an entirely different reason. Probably this is the 250. These worried people represent an elite specialist team. But what challenge could make such professionals nervous? Researchers at the Inesc Tech Laboratory of Robotics and Autonomous Systems design and manufacture robots capable of self-orientation and autonomous decision-making on the ground, underwater and up in the air. At the rear corner of the huge hall, an international team is working around the clock. engineers and scientists are representing seven countries and they have joined forces to create a robot that will autonomously map abandoned flooded mines and gather valuable geological and mineralogical information. This is the UX-1. When finished, it will be able to explore and survey mine tunnels flooded decades ago, as deep as 500 meters underwater. It will use combined sonar and laser systems for orientation. The engineers are calibrating the sensors of the system. If the computer can precisely analyze the chessboard-like parallel and perpendicular pattern, the UX-1 will not have a problem with corners and edges down in the mine. On site, the robot will carry out real-time computation to build a 3D model of its environment. Combining data from the different sensors, the UX-1 can detect an object, in this case an anchor at a corner of the pool. It can also estimate distances more accurately than human eyes. Eight propellers are mounted on the robot for propulsion. Each can work independently and in both directions, giving maximum flexibility of manoeuvring. No wonder, it looks like a spaceship from a science fiction movie. After long months, a crucial moment has arrived. They put on the pressure-proof covers. And the robot is ready for its very first dip. Soon, all can see how the UX-1 operates underwater. After the process of balancing and a few failed attempts, the robot is on its way to its first ever journey. The first dives of the UX-1 went fine in the test pool. 
but how will it cope with the maze-like tunnel structure of a real mine? The developers will soon be ready to try it. It's time to say goodbye to Porto and shed light on murky mines. This was the last time their precious robot was working in such cosy conditions. The UX1 is a robot developed within a Unexpin project funded by the European Commission in the frame of a European Union Horizon 2020 framework programme for research and innovation.